Joining us right now to talk about this is defense attorney Misty Maris. I mean, Misty, we were listening to Jinkus Aris, and I, I was like, my jaw's starting to drop. I mean, the ser the series of allegations and charges against him were all already jaw dropping. I mean, this is an alleged serial killer now. This planning document that is pointed to and alleged by investigators that they found, I mean, wow. Absolutely. It shows the manner and means by which he intends to kill these women. So there's really, really relevant things in this. Yeah, document. that's what I was saying. What is, other than being, I'm going to say creepy and scary and right. gross. Chilling. Chilling. What is in here that you think is relevant? So it's very relevant because not only does this set out Rex Hewerman's alleged plans, but it also is linked directly to the way that the body was found. So Jessica Taylor's body, one of the victims that just came to life, just came. 2003, uh, the document says, which was created in the year 2000, remove head and hands, remove tattoos. Her body was found decapitated, removal of her hands, and a tattoo that was on her hip mutilated. So now we're talking about the way the body was found being linked directly to a document that was found in Rex Hewerman's home on his hard drive. The other really relevant aspect here, keep in mind there's two new victims. Mm -hmm. Jessica Taylor, 2003, another victim, Castilla, 1993. The other, Gilgo Four, 2007 to 2010. We're talking about a whole new decade of potential serial killings. And, and the other piece of this is yeah. the reference in that document, many references to next time, how he could improve next time, use stronger rope. So this indicates that even if one murder could be linked to him, it gives prosecutors the ability to say, it's very clear that this was an ongoing thing and that there were more killings that can be linked back to 1993, Sorry. I mean, we're talking 30 years back. How does that impact the case? I mean. Could there be even more then when you see that gap? Yeah, the district attorney was out there yesterday and said there is an unknown amount of killings that could have taken place that we're going to continue to investigate. So we know the precipice for this new indictment was another six hour search of his home, a nine hour cadaver search in Manorville, New York, that's now linking these two new victims to Rex Hewerman. But we're talking about another 10 years that now investigators are going to go back, look at these missing persons cases and say, well, is there a link here as well that can be traced back to Rex Hewerman. So certainly there could be more to come from this case. Wow, wow, and wow. Thanks, Misty, for walking through it with me. Really appreciate it.